Yeah. yeah. Right. Stood up well. A lot of men who masquerade as gay men actually enjoy screwing transsexuals. Can I, can I just, can I just say, Lauren, that I understand your point about the whole transsexual thing. What you're saying is that basically, like, it'd be nice to have like a transsexual play, a transsexual part, like it would be, for example, for Hollywood actors, for a gay Hollywood actor to play a gay part, or like, you know, or any, or any kind of actor that actually like, you know, who is, who doesn't know that themselves. I understand what you're talking about. Well done, Lauren. You're a freaking star. You look like Maria. You could be Maria. Not very Western. <laughs> Stop very Take the mic. Hayley from Coronation Street is a good role model for everyone. If you watch the show, yeah. you'll see. Yeah. Very, very good. Yeah. So, I didn't say she wasn't nice. She's a lovely person. I met her. I'm just saying, it would be nice. It would be nice if she kept a real hair instead of wearing that wig. You know, I mean, they just pick up her seat. No, 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 no. People perceive transsexuals. People perceive transsexuals to be freaks. And we're not. Laura, sit down for a minute. Some people actually regard transsexuals as male chauvinists because they impose their idea of femininity onto themselves post-surgery. So in a way, they're keeping alive the man-woman divide. And also they're saying that you can only be a woman if you wear makeup and make yourself attractive. To men, and you're sexually interested all the time looking sexually attractive. That's all yeah. people are saying, oh, darling. And you must understand, I, I completely... I mean, what do you think a woman is? Oh, you know we'll be fine. Oh, Sounds like her. Thank you. Sounds like her. As a female to male transgendered actress in Coronation Street myself, I'd like to invite, invite you up to the Rovers and we'll try and get you a job in the show. Yeah. Who knows? Romance may have happened tonight, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you. Thank you very much, ladies and gentlemen. Miss Lauren Harry. And it's been a very stimulating evening. And hopefully, we'll be seeing something more of Lauren. In Carnation Street. Woo! You know. Once we've finished and the jacuzzi. Oh no, I don't think so. Okay. Alright, well, if you go that way, darling. Okay, goodbye everybody. Thank you so much. Well, ladies and gentlemen, gave birth to an interesting debate. And I think we've got more from tonight than you might have done at GAY, say on a Friday or a Saturday or whatever night it's open. Now I'm about to... I don't know, I might condition my hair. <laughs> but after a short musical break, Father Clough, whatever you play, I dedicate it to the ladies and gentlemen. We'll be right back. Thank you so much. Thank you.